So in this video, we're gonna talk about making nebulized tranexamic acid. It's dependent on really two things. The first thing is what dosage of the tranexamic acid you wanna use, and number two is the size of your nebulizing canister. Now I know they come in a variety of sizes, but for what I do is I typically will take 1,000 milligrams of tranexamic acid, which is 10 mLs, and I'll dilute that in five mLs of normal saline. I'll put all of that in my canister and I'll nebulize it over 10 minutes. Now, if your canister is not big enough, one workaround is you don't have to dilute it with normal saline. You can just pour the tranexamic acid directly in there. Now, the evidence for this is really based on case reports and case series, and so it's not really robust, but I've done this a few times in people who have post-tonsillectomy bleeding and people who have streaky hemoptysis, not massive hemoptysis, but it works pretty great. The final thing I'll tell you is that you don't wanna do this via face mask. You wanna do it with a mouthpiece. Let me know what your thoughts are about nebulized tranexamic acid. Maybe you have a different way or a different dosing strategy. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. 